What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. Before I begin, let me say thank you again to all of my Patreon supporters. Be sure to like and subscribe for future content. And I've got an unboxing for you today. This arrived a couple days ago, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. But about two or three, maybe four weeks ago, I showed you guys some ungraded items that I received from Jacob Przinski. The offer, the offer, the author of Far, Far Away, A Guide to Unlicensed Vintage Polish Star Wars Figures. I showed you guys a Han Solo unarticulated from the 1980s as well as a Barada. And unbeknownst to me, when uh, I was making the video, after the video, I started looking a little bit closer at it. And I said that it looks an awfully lot like this one. This is the one that's in the book. This is on page 70. But the reason I uh, I started looking closer is that there is a paint defect on the hand right here. You can see where it's painted black by accident by the, I guess the factory worker just, you know, accidentally got some black on there when he was painting the rest of the figure. Well, I looked at my figure and it had the exact same paint defect. So I reached out to Jacob and he said that, yes, in fact, it is the exact same Han Solo that is, is featured in the book. And so when I received it and, and looked at it closer, I was like, I got to do something a lot cooler with it. And uh, here are two examples already in my collection of kind of similar projects I've done. Uh, both of these are unused Polish card backs where <clears throat> I mounted the figure in front of, in front of the uh, card back and uh, I included the weapons next to it. So th those are really nice. But I had Collector Archive Services put together this custom for me, and this arrived... Uh, I guess maybe three or four days ago, like I said, I'm going to lower my camera just a little bit so we can get a better look at it. There we go. This is much better. So this is what I did. This is what I did. And Jacob Przinski, the author, was a massive help. I want to say thank you to Jacob for helping me with this. But what I did was I asked Jacob to send me a high-resolution file of that page. And so what we did is, or what Collector Archive Services is, they printed the the page out on kind of a miniature card like they use for their statements of archival and they mounted that next to the figure and so now we can see the figure has been displayed next to the card and then the label uh, mentions that it's the book book photo sample and there we go 1980s Polish Star Wars Han Solo unarticulated bootleg book photo sample so uh, really really nice and this came back with a 70 so again, you know, here's the figure. He's, he's got kind of the gray shirt, which is a little bit less common. Certainly not as wacky or as cool as some of these with silver outfits and blue and red and yellow, and pink, green. Uh, but uh, this this figure has that same, and this is what, what tipped me off that this was used in the book. So I think that Collector Archive did a great job with it. And uh, I, I like the fact that it's labeled uh, on the grading label and authenticated as... Uh, the book photo sample. I sent the conversation I had with Jacob confirming that this was used in the book and Collector Archive willingly uh, agreed to put that on the label. So I think that really, I mean, not that I'm going to sell this anytime soon, but it's, you know, in terms of authentication and, you know, value add to, to this kind of cool piece, I, I think that it, 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 it was a good choice uh, to, to, to kind of mount it this way. So I just, it's a really, really cool item. And I know of several collectors that are doing similar projects like this. And again, thank you to Jacob uh, for, uh, for helping me kind of make this a reality. It just turned out awesome. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And the back is just, you know, plain since it's just paper, but uh, what, what a, what an awesome kind of addition to the, these kind of unique Polish bootleg items that I have now in my collection. Now, before I forget, a couple of things. First, Jacob, as I've mentioned in a previous video, Jacob is releasing a second edition of this book, Far, Far Away. This is coming, it's, he's, he's in the process of working on it. And uh, he, I'm going to put an insert right here, uh, mention, you know, showing the thumbnail for the video that I made. And I'm also going to include a link to not only that video that I made, but also a link to the Kickstarter for Jacob's second edition of the book. It's already reached 300% of his goal value. And he's already gone on record as stating that the price will go up post Kickstarter. So for those of you who are interested in these awesome 
Polish bootleg Star Wars figures from the 1980s and 1990s, now is the time to get that book because it's a great resource. It goes through the history of the bootlegs. He's going to have more photos, more information, new discoveries. So I've already backed it. I know that Blacked Out Ewoks, a fellow YouTuber, has already backed it. And for those of you who have any interest in this line, I highly recommend it. I think that the starting price is around $80 shipped to the U.S., and there's all kinds of different incentives and posters and things like that. But it's it's a, it's going to be a really great book. And uh, for, for those of you who have any interest in the line, make sure to check out the links that I put in the video description for this video. And finally, I don't have the details yet on whether it's going to be on my channel or on Blacked Out Ewoks' channel. But we are going to be doing a live stream next Friday. And it's going to be Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So I guess 9 p.m. UK time this coming Friday. And it's going to be on Star Wars books. And this will be one of them that we talk about, I'm sure. This, you know, uh, it's just a great resource. I've got a book by Javi Rui Lopez on the Spanish PvP and POC figures. And I know that Blacked Out Ewoks has a pretty massive collection of collecting books. But we're going to be talking about those. I'm also going to pull out some of my novels that I've been reading recently including the Thrawn series, the Alphabet Squadron, and just kind of talk talk more very briefly about some of those recent reads I've, I've, I've uh, been enjoying over the last six months or so. But it should be a fun little one-hour live stream, and I will have the details a little bit later on next week uh, or you know this coming week. So thank you again for watching, and uh, I really enjoyed this project. Thank you again to Jacob for all of the help making this uh, item turn out so perfectly. And I will be back soon. Again, if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe for future releases. And make sure to click on the bell for future notifications as well. Thank you again for watching, and I'll be back soon.